Hello, welcome to June 2017, paper six, question nine. This is all about uh, enlargements and similarity. Um, so to begin with, in question nine, uh, we've got to do an enlargement. Okay, so triangle A on the grid, enlarge triangle A, with scale factor one third, and center of enlargement minus one five. So uh, first of all, I'm going to mark my center of enlargement minus one five. And then to make things clear, I'm just going to draw in some ray lines, okay, going from each corner of the triangle to my center of enlargement. I'm just going to help my actress see in a moment. Okay, so scale factor one third. So effectively, the distance between the center of enlargement and the corner is going to be one third of this distance. So now I like to use the grid lines here. So we can see going from my center to this corner, it's one, two, three, four, five, six squares along, and it's one, two, three squares up. So I'm going to do a third of that. So instead of six squares along, it will be two squares along. And instead of three squares up, it will be one square up. And we can see quite nicely that gives me a point on my ray line. Now I'll repeat that for uh, this uh, line. So again, from the center of enlargement, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so one third of that is three. It gets me to here. And then three squares up, one third of that is one. And you can see quite nicely, I'm on the ray line and also I'm horizontal uh, with this other point, so that looks pretty helpful. And then we do the same for this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then three down. So I'm gonna go three along and one down, and again I'm on the ray line. So I'm then gonna draw join up those two those three corners and I will have a triangle. And that will be my correct enlargement scale factor one third. So that's part A. Then part B, okay, two prisms which are similar. So the ratio of the surface area of prism P to the surface area of prism Q is 1 to 3. Okay, so the surface area of prism Q is 3 times that of prism P. So J says the height of prism P is 1 third of the height of prism Q. And on the surface of it, that might look okay, but of course this ratio here is for the surface areas, whereas this statement here is about the heights. Okay, so the relationship is that whatever the length of the R factor is, you're going to square that to get the area scale factor. Okay, so the length scale factor is the square root of the area scale factor, which is why the scale factor is not 3 or 1 third if you go in that direction. Okay, now we're going to use some of those ideas now in part 2. So the volume of prism Q is 86. So we've got to work out the volume of the smaller prism. Now we know that the, the area scale factor is 3. We get that from our ratio. Okay. So as we've said here, the length scale factor is going to be the square root of 3. Okay. And the volume scale factor will be the cube of that. So the cube of the square root of 3. Okay. So my 86, that was the bigger volume. So I'm going to get my 86, and I'm going to divide it by the cube of the square root of 3. So this is my volume scale factor. Okay, so I get my uh, calculator. 86 divided by the square root of 3. Oops. Make sure I don't use the calculator properly. Just use the cursor here, cubed. So 86 divided by the square root of 3 cubed. See, that's what I've got here. Okay, so I get an answer of uh, about 16.55 centimeters cubed. 